Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are at. We are back with another episode of The Real Wrestling Show. Blood. And we are The Real Wrestling Show, talking about what we believe to be The Real Wrestling Show and the only real wrestling show, and that is AEW. Episode 202. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, children, but the age is 15. We found you pretty deep, 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 the Ball Bastard Big Z, accompanied by the TV man, the Screen G, a.k.a. The Phenomenal Door Z, yes. and together we make up the real wrestling in the show. Dash Le Bloggio, just in case you're French. Uh, and what we do on here is we do a rundown of Dynamite, a rundown of Rampage, and any of the specials that AEW usually put on, but they haven't put any on it. This week then we have a little touchdown on the wrestling rumours, which sometimes we got. We do both work full time so probably wonder why it's looking so rough around the edges because we aim it to be rough around the edges you know it's what we do like a couple of other videos we've got online so check those out the greenhouse and a couple of other things merchandise memoirs which if any of you have got any merchandise memoirs please tag us in this put up your own it'd be nice to see like do you know what I mean but um we're gonna kick it off with dynamite and talk about it yeah so uh this week started off with the same promo we did two weeks ago Pretty much, two three weeks ago. Yeah. All, all the uh, pillars. Different promo with Jungle Boy, Sammy, Darby. Uh, that you know, sharp shots, shot back and forth. Darby couldn't make it as a skateboarder. That's why he's a wrestler. Uh, Sammy not seen as champ because he's a follower. Yeah. Uh, it's not Sting and the Darby Appreciation Society. We're on the same page. Uh, JB handed his slot because he's part of the California clique. Then MJF comes out, announces this tournament thing. It's just fucking stupid. And round one, Darby gets a buy. And it's Sammy versus JB tonight. Winner goes through to the final to face Darby. And we know that all of them are going to get a win. In a three man only tournament. Do you know what I mean? They're all going to get a win. It's going to be a fatal four-way, which is going to be shit. MJF's going to keep it, which is going to be shit. Maybe not, but that's what's going to happen. That's what I think. But yeah, that's the main event for Dynamite, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Which I have two lines of notes on. Next up, we've got the Outcast versus Brett Baker versus Sammy Hayter. I feel like we've been seeing like this man. I know we haven't, but like every week. Yeah. Yeah, it does feel like that. Even if like, even if Britt Baker and Hater's not in the match, and it's like Willow and Sky Blue, it still feels like Hater and Britt. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. No, I agree with you with that. It's good though. The matches are pretty good. Yeah. So uh, anyway, it's the way uh, oh, it's Britt's mom in the crowd because it's Britt Baker's hometown. Uh, Backyard trip to Brett on the floor. Sky Blue, then hanging neckbreaker off the middle. Sky Blue. And Sky Blue, though. Sling Blade. Sling Blade and a hanging neckbreaker off the middle rope into a Piracarana by Brett. Wouldn't be bad if Sky Blue was in this match, right? Wouldn't be bad if she's in Sting any match. Airy crash by Brett. Brett Grant yeah, gets nailed with the belt. Storm Zero, but Brett kicks out. Panorama Sunrise, Panama Sunrise gets two. Then the Cave Song gets two. Then she hits the Lockjaw. Brett and Hater win. I went with Brett Man of the Match. I went with Jamie Hater Man of the Match. Two moments. Two. I agree, two moments. Yeah. It was an okay match. This was like. But again, yeah, I think it's the fact that where it feels like the match is happening over and over and over and over again, it's 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 becoming less entertaining. It was entertaining, but it's becoming each week it's like, oh come on now, don't end up being the Keith Lee fucking swerve storyline now. Do you know what I mean? Like or some of the other storylines have gone on far too long, like Hobbs and Wardlow, for instance. Do you know what I mean? Fucking hell. You know? 
I don't want it to turn into that, which it slowly is. Like. Uh, next up, we had a promo with Rene Wardlow with Arn Anderson in the back. Says that Tully taught you how to play checkers. I'm going to teach you how to play chess. Pow, pow, little guns, pow, pow. Mm -hmm. sure, uh, yeah. Then we had a pro in, promo in ring. Box Omega talking about the BCC. I just finished watching BT and they made a big thing out. They had like a 10,000 word promo that they were allowed to do. But then obviously he came out and he said, look, I haven't got a lot to say, but when you hit my mates, we're going to fuck you up. Now come out. And then Brian Daniels like, yeah, amateurs, blah, 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 blah. BCC then ambush. Uh, fighting around the ring. You uh, hit Matt with a belt in his arm. Powerbomb by Claudio to Nick, which was nice. Pop up. Uh, Brian Anderson calls, I want to say dwarfs. Calls them all amateurs, but not Omega. Don comes out with a chair, runs off, and then Takeshita comes out to a absolutely brilliant pop. Yeah, I thought that was brilliant. It was definitely mm. brilliant. And Omega's playing it quite well as well. Yeah. He's playing it like, oh, I'm not happy with this. Like, do you know what I mean? I've run out of music. I've run, huh? out, of, I've run out of music. Keep talking, Dos. Uh, TNT, quite well, Hobbs versus Wardo next up. Uh, Jamie White Hobbs, uh, brawl through the crowd, brawl the world of spears of steps, frog splash gets two for Hobbs, sent on bomb by Wardlow, Germans by Wardlow, cut the by QT while the weapons is strapped in, Gerlin and then, well, the weapons are strapped by Gerlin and then spine buster by Hardy, by Hobbs gets two, sorry. And a QT get in the ring, then Penta super kicks QT, then Andy defeats him, Palvon Symphony by Wardle the Hobbs, Wardle wins, I love the Wardle Man of the Match. I went Hobbs, Man of the Match. Two moments. Yeah, two moments. Yeah, it's an okay match, quite a lot of sloppy bits in it though. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it was an okay match, it was an okay match. Uh, again, more of those hometown as well. He didn't get as much of a pop as he should have for his hometown, did he? Um, no, not really. He got a bit of a pop, but he was quite muffled, like, do you know what I mean? And there was only so many people actually chanting Wardlow this time. Yeah. Which is, that's not good, that's not good to see, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you're not getting cheered in your hometown, uh, Christine comes out with Lucas Flores, obviously insinuating that they the next contenders. Yeah, I think Samoa Joe's going to have something to say about that though. You know, he's the next TNT champion, isn't he? In, in the way that it's been going, isn't it? Hobbs, Wardlow, Samoa Joe, Hobbs, Wardlow, Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe, Wardlow, Hobbs. So yeah, we've got another like 10 title changes between them, yeah. Been alright though, been pretty good. Next up we have Rene with Sammy, interrupted by Andrea, Amazon, Brian Check, signed by him, any number you want. I'll help you win the title, I'll win the match. You, know, you can be in the main event if you just lay down. Uh, no. No? Huh? He says, you can be in the main event if you just lay down. He's like, ah, no. Alright then, I'll pay you then. You know, thought you'd be stupid enough just to lay down. Next up, we had Commander versus Jay White. Pretty good match, this one was. Uh, handshake early on, then a second handshake, and Jay White beats a dick. Spears is in the crowd. Dodgy spine. Uh, dodgy springboard swanton arm drag by Commander. Looked pretty cool, but a bit sloppy. When he literally come down straight and then kind of struggled them all back. Uh, stupid rope bouncing thing, then destroys himself by doing a hurricanrana. Did you notice yeah. that? Yeah. He fell off. He fell off Jay White, and then literally was like trying to look what looked like shaking off concussion. Uh, missed moon salt. Jay suplex onto the apron. That was quite nice. Jay has a little bit of a chat with Spears. Gets him to rate his moves. Rates him a five, then rates him a nine, but turns it around to a six. Spears. Uh, springboard to a uh, springboard into a seatbelt pin by Commander. That was quite nice, nice, but he couldn't trap the leg. Tightrope moonsault by Commander gets rated ten by Spears. Uh, rope shooting star by Commander. 
which I'm not liking this tightrope at all. I'm not liking any of that shit, man. Uh, well, well, Phoenix Splash gets two counts. Brutal German by Jay, and then the Blade Runner for the finish, getting rated as a five by Sean Spears. Uh, Jay White wins. I went with Jay White, man of the match, and four moments. Yeah, really. Then Jay White as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's um. A little sloppy. He was, yeah, especially after the Harakrana, where he yeah. he took himself out like. But he did, mate. For me, like when he slammed on the floor, he was he didn't raise his hand to his head. But as soon as he got up, end, like he he kind of not stumbled over, but he looked as though he leant a little bit, and then he straightened himself, and then he was like ah for a bit, like just like yeah, you fucking hurt yourself here, mate. Uh, after the match, Juice attacks Spears and Ricky Starks comes out and makes the save. Which I'm not wrong in thinking that Sean Spears and Ricky Spa Starks will be a very, very funny duo together. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think they will be exceptionally entertaining. And then next up we have Rene with FDR, the initial video of Bristol getting jumped. They run into the, the doctor's room to check on him. Past the Pepsi machine. Pepsi Phil. Pepsi Man. What? CM Punk. CM Punk, Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man, CM Punk. Yeah. There's lots of speculation at the moment because of the way Dan Housen is social media in with CM Punk and the way he calls him Pepsi Man all the time. It's not like AEW to have a big branded machine like that in the middle of a scene. Do you know what I mean? But there was two Pepsi machines right next to each other. So the speculation is that's a nod to Punk coming back soon. Yeah. Um, Rene yeah, still video of uh, Briscoe getting sacked. They went to the doctor's room to check on him. Uh, and he convinced his... FTR team up with JV4 and Jack Yeah. Good chemistry there, man. Yeah, follow us. Yeah, follow us. Yeah, follow us. Yeah, just we'll take the lead. Just follow us. Yeah, yeah, no worries. We'll follow follow us. Yeah. I like this. It's good. Next up, we have Jericho Paul face to face. We're going to ask you when Jericho attacked Paul. Brett tries to make the save, then the outcasts attack. They don't handcuff Adam Cole to the rope. He did. Did they? Yeah, it was around his wrist and the rope. So it, it, where he's where Adam Cole's a baby, his wrists are only tiny. Yeah, uh, right. So yeah, the, the cuff was around the rope and his wrist. I think if they had done it the other way around, he would have been able to probably reach halfway across the ring. Yeah, the suppose. fucking handcuffs they brought out, they were like, ah, they had a chain like how long in between them. Yeah, I know. Good segment, though. Brett, run, Brett. Brett, run. I'm Excuse sorry, Brett. I'm sorry. Let me know how you have the Inco promo. Yes, addressing the crowd on Rampage. Which, what a fucking bastard. Yeah. <laughs> like, they didn't do it well enough, but a bit of a bastard moment on Rampage from Jeff Hardy there. Yeah, yeah Britain Cole being helped out during the entrance of, ironically, Day Gun 2.0, which are obviously bad jazz. Which I will note on. Next match was 2.0 and Jake Hager versus Acclaimed and Billy. I literally wrote in this, rather than like when I write okay or good, excellent match, I just wrote nothing to note. Like there was literally nothing in the match that was worth anything for me other than this. Uh, Angelo hits Bowens with the comb. Then he hits Hager when he was old in the other one. Billy breaks the comb. The arrived mic drop finish. So my God, there was nothing else more to the match. Right? No. Uh, acclaimed and Billy Gunn win. I went with Nipples, man of the match. Billy. Nipples. Oh, yeah. Billy. Make my nipples hard. But yeah, nothing really to know. It was just 
more storyline than anything. It was a standard wrestling match. If you were there watching on the show, you'd be like, hey, but you wouldn't be like, oh, that was fucking sick. You know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. And then I'll run you. Because <laughs> I've only got two lines. And most of them are not even a match. That's that the main event of the evening. Which is Sammy G versus Jungle Boy in the tournament round we talked about earlier. Yeah. The three man uh, 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 tournament. Huh? The three man tournament. Yeah. Well, three man league. That's what it is. Everyone gets to fight each other, and then whoever's got the most points at the end of it wins. So it's not even a tournament, it's a fucking league. Mount Glory, then. Hmm? Mount Glory. Yeah. Uh, MJF working on uh, Herod Brown over the roof by JB, then a Spanish fly off the top by Sammy. Uh, Darby watching on the rafters. Spanish fly off the apron by Sammy. Jane B launched into and over the guardrail. The pop on the making by Jay B, then a super destroyer against the two. Super tech by Sammy, then a implant DDT. Poison round by Jay B, then a something by Sammy. Inverted DDT. Um fucking sick. And then Jungle Boy drop kicked off the apron. Are you right there? Yeah, off the top rope. And then knees through the table. And then sorry, knocks him off the top rope. He's not off the, to the outside to get to the final keeper's cable. And then MJF nails JB with the ring while Sammy distracts the ref. Count out, Sammy wins. I went with Sammy Man of the Match. Sammy Man of the Match, quite a big number. I had nine. Snap, I had nine. Nice. Our system works, man. Our system yeah. fucking works. Right, we are going to take a short break because I need to have a piddle and Dorsey needs to have a skibbity dibbity dibbity. And we're back with Rampage, which we are going to now go through in detail. Not really, because it wasn't all that good of a show. But uh, yeah, we got notes on it. First match, I didn't understand, which was Mox versus Christopher Daniels. Kind of once a commentary explained it to me, I understood why. Because he's slightly yeah. associated to the Bucks. Mm -hmm. Clutching the straws, like, do you know what I mean? But I'm sure that Christopher Daniels was supposed to be fighting someone else advertised. But I could be wrong. I didn't think it was Moxo. I thought it was somebody else. But um, getting into the match, not too many notes. Christopher Daniels dropped onto the steps times two. Cut by Mox. Crossbody by Christopher Daniels. Big clothesline by Mox. Pile driver. And then a bulldog choke. Uh, springboard flatliner by Christopher Daniels Angel Wings by Christopher Daniels in the commentary were like oh my god if he had covered him sooner he would have won he was never going to win this match do you know what I mean like never in a million years never ever 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 going to win this match Angel Wings Christopher Daniels two count choke out Finn ish by Mox uh, Mox was always going to win I did go Christopher Daniels man of the match though because he always puts on a great performance um, yeah, me too. zero moments uh, three moments for me. Zero for me. Uh, yeah, I felt like it was quite a stale match to start off most of the way through. Daniels then picked up a little bit of pace. But yeah, the match won. It won all that for me. After the yeah. match, Mox shakes Christopher Daniels' hand. Yeah. I thought, ah, oh, all right. Uh, you know, and again, the way the commentary played it out, oh, you know, two legends, blah, blah, blah. You know, I kind of felt in it a little bit. Only yeah. a little bit, do you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, bit of a stale match for me for, for the opener. Next up, we had Lexi backstage. Jake, Mark, uh, Jade and Mark. Jade says she's too busy to talk. She's too busy to fucking wrestle. She's not very good to wrestle either, really. But uh, says Attire will not be allowed to use the titty boom. If she does, she will be disqualified. Or the titty buster, either one. The titty boom or the titty buster. They're both the same fucking move, right? You got? Do you want to do this next bit? Or just jump in whenever you got some notes? Uh, it was a Keith and Swift. Nope. Jeff Hardy, hook. Nothing? Yeah, you do that. Alright, man. 
Uh, we had Hook Hardy and Isaiah. Jeff says that he's he's back, he's feeling healthier. He thinks that it's a smart idea for him to retire. And half of the crowd are like, uh, what? From screwing up. Which, yeah, bit of a fucking dodgy promo in my eyes. I consider and this is like the fourth time he's rehabbed. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they're clutching the straws again. Uh, again. Uh, he says he wants to leave on an extreme high rather than a depressing low. And that they're going to prevail, blah, blah, blah. So the Hardy Boys are going to be the next tag team champions. More than likely. Uh, Stokely appears on the screen, says that he's messaged Matt. I even sent you a fax. I even sent you a pigeon, didn't you get it? Uh, to find out the details of the match, Matt says, no, go fuck yourself. Um... Stokely says, oh, well, the thing is, you've been too busy at home with your family and your kids, giving it all. Ah! Which I fucking laughed my head off, mate. That was so <laughs> funny. Uh, firm attack. The Hardy Boys and co. And try to kidnap Isaiah. But they do not succeed. Then we had a recap promo. Jericho, Adam Cole is a baby. Hype. And then the bit he was going to talk about. Oh, yeah, and the Jericho bit. There was, um, show Britt Baker's nice black eye. Yeah. Which, uh, I'm not sure how she actually got that. It looked like Jericho kicked her in the face by accident when he stepped back from Adam Cole. But yeah, what's the next bit, man? Next up, he's keeping his I think. We can't build, like, for one. The Incredible Limitless crew forever whatever they're called we're back next week it's like are you fighting Swerve still I'm like I've had enough yeah. I've had enough of it like I want Swerve to be rivaling with someone else now like yeah exactly uh, next up we had Kira and Julia who were already in the ring once this promo finished um, a so-so match this was it nothing spectacular uh, step up leg drop by Kira was fucking dreadful, as it has been the last four or five times. Moonsault yeah. by Julia gets two count, and then the heartless submission for the pin. There was nothing more than that. There was a couple of back and forth punching, bit of back and forth mat work and shit, but nothing spectacular. Uh, Julia wins. I won with Julia the man of the match, and once again zero. Yep, yeah, agreed. After the match, Anna J comes out and attacks Julia, looking like she's never wrestled before. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, Anna J, he's not, she's like, this happened to her before. Like, yeah. I think it was in the second year, she got injured, come back, was like, oh, what happened to all her skill? Like, and she's done exactly the same. She's got injured, thrown off a stage, and now she's come back like, oh, fuck, I've lost all ability to wrestle. Yeah. It's weird. It's very strange. Uh, next up, we had a promo. Lexi, Christopher Daniel says that he's out for wins and championships. And if he's got to people, fight people like Mox again. And then BCC come out, being Claudio and Utah. Mox comes in, stops him from doing it, says that Christopher Daniels is cool. Daniels says, oh, it's nice to see that you've got a bit of dignity left. Or it's, it's nice to see that you've got honor. a bit of honour. Huh? Honour. Honour. You've got a bit of honour left. Then Mox hits him and says, no, we wouldn't us to change everybody else did. Which yeah. I quite like that angle, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, ah, oh, we've always been the same. It's every other fucking snowflake that's changed, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I quite like that, like. Then we move on to, do you want to do this one? You got notes for it? No. Nope. No. Nope. Next up, we have Double J, J Lethal, and FDR versus Neath, Woods, Davari, and Slim J. Okay, match this was. Um, assisted leg drop for FDR. Catch power slam by Cash was nice. Nice and speedy. Uh, J Lethal and FDR do their strutting bit. And FDR yeah. walk after them. I thought that was quite funny. That got a moment for me. Uh, lethal and lethal and cash clash with each other once when they're trying to work with each other. Everyone in the ring then fight in. Mark Sterling on the apron. Dax hold, pulls him in a ring, holds him, and then Double J hits Dax by accident. Nice pin to Dax. Double J does nothing, and then Double J hits his finisher, which is called the stroke. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. And then Dax he tells Dax to pin. Hesitates for a second, and then makes the pin. It was an okay match this one, but um, yeah, it was it, again. This was purely for story storyline. There wasn't much wrestling had in this match, like to me. But winners of the match: Jay Lethal, Lethal, and FDR. 
I run the Slim J man of the match and just the one moment. Oh, that. You would. I don't know why. But yeah, I won with Slim J. I thought he, um, I, I thought he took an exceptional beating in this match. After the match, Briscoe comes out to stop the infight in between FDR and Jay Lethal and Lethal. No, Jeff Jarrett and Lethal. Yeah. So, uh, how many moments do you have? Uh, four. Four. Just the one for me. We got next, bro. Uh, next up is the main event, I believe. We have Orange and Bandido hype for next week, which I don't understand why there's so much hype at all, because it's like, well, that's the first time I've ever heard of it. Yeah. You know? uh, and it, and they made it out to be like it was an Orange Cassidy promo. And then right at the end, they were like, oh yeah, and, and Bandido's in this promo too. So again, it didn't feel like it was hyped well enough. They made another promo, Butcher and Blade, with Kip City being in the background wearing his candy floss wig. Calls out Omega and Takeshita because apparently they're a super tag team. Which, fair play, Blade cut a good promo there. I will uh, give him his dues. And then Mark Henry, do your thing. It's not the main event of the E. After a little bit of promo, uh, we had El Hijo del Velkingo versus Dralistico. And Dralistico comes out with Roosh and Preston Vance, aka 10 of the Dark Order. Um, getting into it, Dralistico dive before the bell. Velkingo. Uh, does a dive and Dralistico steps out the way and he just slams on the ramp. I look good. I like that. Uh, corkscrew kick by Vikingo. Reverse Hurricana by Vikingo. Destroyer off the rope by Dralistico. I look good. Uh, Vikingo into the guardrail by Roosh and Ten while the ref was distracted. Uh, Vikingo gets chucked into the steps and at this point the crowd went a bit stale. There was not much, not much going on from crowd wise. Uh, Drillistico moonsault to the outside. That was nice. Spring code breaker by Drillistico. That was nice as well. Canadian off the top to the apron by Vinkingo. Ve Ve Can't fucking say his name, man. That was nice as well. Bruce pulls Viking off the apron. And then Lack Flack Lick Lick Ignogonoble get ejected. Uh, Drillistico hits a Hurricane off the corner to a sitting Viking who's sitting on the ropes. And as he lands it, he fucking slams his shins on the apron, man. Yeah. It must have fucking caned his legs, like. Uh, yeah, proper brutal that was. Uh, then it was like a a very lucha libre back and forth, but nothing happened. Yeah. Like nothing was done, but it ended up with uh, Drillistico getting by Vinkingo in an armbar. Uh, running knees by Vinkingo, 360 by Vin Vikingo. For the finish of the match, it's a pretty, pretty good match. This was. Um, I went with Drillistico, man of the match. Oh, the other guy, Vikingo. Yeah. And a booker. My first booking of the evening. Uh, seven. Yeah, it was a pretty good match. Um, after the match, Russian ten attack Vikingo, and Rush's clothesline. Looked as though it might have like rattled his brains a little bit. And not Roosh, uh, Preston Vance's. Proper, yeah. proper clock dim like. But yeah, that's all I've got for Rampage. Like I said, I didn't feel like it was, um, I didn't feel like it was a great show, to be honest, uh, Rampage. Being that was good. Yeah. The rest of them, it was like zero, zero and one for me, like moments. Yeah. Just wasn't feeling it. And I wasn't even falling asleep either. I like actually watched it. But Dynamite, nah, it was okay. But again, it's like some weeks we have shows where there's just it's all about storyline, even the wrestling moves. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, for me, it was that was this this week. But I suppose we are at a point now where storylines have got to be built up now for Double or Nothing and the Wembley show. Yeah. So, good place to start, I suppose. But yeah. Got any news or rumours of wrestling? 
Excellent. Good job. Nice work, buddy. I've got one. Uh, apparently, Eric Bischoff almost died twice recently. Because he, okay. he suffers with hyperglycemia. Gly, gly, glyso, glycemia. Yeah. And um, he apparently took this wonder medican, med, medican? <laughs> medicine. And basically, it made all his insides bleed. Quite, uh, quite bad. He was passing out, cracking his head on stuff. And uh, he had to be airlifted to another hospital from the place he was because they ran out of blood. So yeah, he was uh, apparently he was in a pretty bad state, like. Yeah. So yeah, but that's the only that's the only one I've got really, and the other one is Mercedes Monet has extended her contract with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Another bit of news popped into my head. No, no, you me. Can't get work because apparently she's too expensive. Okay. Uh, and that is all I got. And another news: David Arquette is fucking mental, man. He's like, he's a weirdo. He was on RJ City's podcast the other day. Huh? And very strange, very strange indeed. But yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You don't watch his uh, podcast, do you? Hey, you don't you? Ah, oh, it's funny, man. Oh, you don't like IJ City, do you? Dozzy doesn't get humour. But yeah, that's all I've got. I have no more. Dozzy seems to have stopped talking a long, long time ago. Never Maybe idea. about 31 minutes ago. What's that? <laughs> what you? I haven't got anything though. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for anybody who has helped us do this blog. Please check out the other videos we've got, like I said at the beginning, which is a greenhouse, merchandise, memoirs, and a couple of other videos of Dorsey jumping off bars and hitting people with skateboards. Uh, we'll have a couple more videos up soon, because we'll be going to Wembley, baby! Oh, yes. And, um, yeah, I've been Big Z. I've been Dorsey. A.K.A. The Screen G. We will be back with episode 203 next week. Oh, yes. Hopefully, possibly this time, organise it to be in the same fucking room. Because I know it was supposed to be organised for this week, but uh, yeah, a bit of a shitty weekend. So, But uh, yeah, and just a note, we also both work full time jobs, do you know what I mean? And run yeah. other establishments and shit. So. so yeah, catch us next week. Peace. Peace. Is Facebook's not got bucket hole butts? Face the size of.